Right, so configuring for adding users. Um, now, there's some mechanism where we can have an etc scale directory which allows us to put in some basically skeleton config files that means that whenever a new user is created, we can send an option, I think it's minus M, that tells the uh, user add program to copy the skeleton files in this directory into the user's home directory. So they're like a kind of a template, a default, that every new user will get when they're created. So that's what this section's all about. Um, it says here the user add programs collection, user collection of default values in the etc default user add. This file is created in the base LFS installation by the shadow package. Uh, if it has been removed or renamed, the user add program uses some internal defaults. You can see the values, default values by running user bin user add minus D. So we can do that, see what the default values are, learn a bit more about the system. Full slash user S bin user add minus capital D. So you can see the default is group 99, default home directory home. Not sure what some of these are, but the see default shell is going to be given is bash. There's the skeleton directory which we're going to be populating. And this is an actual setting. Oops, sorry, wrong mouse. Uh, this is an actual setting that we modified. The default was yes, but we modified that in the Linux from scratch build to change it to no so it didn't create a mail spool directory. If you find you need that, then obviously you can change that back. It says here, to change these values, simply modify the etc default user add file as the root user. Or modifying the file, you can, or not only to modify the files to run user add the root, as the root user while supplying the desired modifications on the command line. And how to do that can be found in the user add mad page. So the etc scale directory, for skeleton to get started create an etc scale directory make sure it's writable only by the system administrator usually the root creating the directory as root is the best way to go and it says here to when you add a user to use the minus m option to create the user to use the skeleton files so let's see if we have the skeleton directory and you can see that we don't so let's do as it says make the minus v slash etc slash skel you can see it's been created and as it says make sure it's writable only by the system administrator usually root you can see it's got right only for the owner which is root so that's fine everybody else in the world has got read access to it that's probably not a problem the mode of any files from this part of the book that you put into the etc scale should be writable only by the owner so again that's going to be root there's since there's no telling of what kind of sensitive information the user may eventually place in their copy of these files you should make them unreadable by group and other so that means that the permissions should be something like 400 which would make them read write and no read or write for other and the group options And it says here, decide which files provided for every or most new users' home directory and decisions you make will affect what you do in the next two session sections. We'll be going through these. Some or all of these files will be useful for root and existing users and new users. So we'll be going through these. Um, files from those sections you might want to place in the scale include input RC, bash profile, bash RC. Bash logout, the colors of MRC. I'll also be making little modifications to some of these files. They're just personal modifications I make uh, just to make it more useful. I'll be explaining what they are. Um, you may want to use them yourself. Uh, 
uh, you'll be running a slightly modified set of commands for the files which are placed in ETC scale. So we won't create a user just yet. We'll do these files and then we'll create a user using this minus M command. And we can see that that actually works and copies these scale files into the newly created user. So there's a bit here about systems, uh, users and groups. And basically the standard is that anything below 100 is a system user and it lists some of the standards that are used and the numbers of the user IDs and the group IDs for these users and groups.